असलम स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज़ मै राज कामरान एंड यू आर वॉचिंग एक्सप्लोर केमिस्ट्री टूडे आई एम रिकॉर्डिंग दिस वीडियो टू सॉल्व पास पेपर्स स्पेशली सेप्टेम्बर एग्जाम ए के यू बी पास पेपर्स मैनी स्टूडेंट्स वर फेसिंग डिफिकल्टी इन सॉल्विंग दीज पेपर्स बिकॉज एज यू नो वी डोंट हैव आंसर की ऑफ दीज पेपर्स सो आई एम सॉल्विंग दीज पेपर्स यू गाइज कैन टेक हेल्प फ्राम दिस वीडियो ओके सो दिस इज़ टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन पेपर first question of this paper is the branch of chemistry that deals with the preparation of dyes and paints is known as here preparation is written means something is been made and dyes and paints are prepared in industry so it is related to industrial chemistry option c next question is number 2 which are which two species in the given table are atom and ion of the same element you have to identify same element elements are recognized through proton number so you must have to see same proton number now here you can see w and y is having same proton number they belongs to same element x and z also belongs to same element but in case of w and y electrons are also same here it is written you have to identify atoms and ions so atom and ions should have different number of electrons so these two w and y are actually isotopes of each other here you can see neutron numbers are different so here these are isotopes you don't have to identify isotopes now see x and z x is having 8 electrons z is having 10 electrons number of neutrons are same here so x and z are the ions and atoms of same element option b will be the correct answer third mcq is the mass in gram of one more one atom of carbon is now here you have to find the mass but number of atom is given you will use number of atoms or number of particles formula one atom is actually number of atom the formula is number of particles is equals to mass over molar mass multiplied by avogadro's number so this formula you will arrange in this way to calculate to find mass to find mass formula will become number of atom that is 1 multiply by molar mass that is 12 for carbon divided by avogadro number that is 6.02 exponent 23 so your answer will be 1.99 exponent Minus twenty three, because this Avogadro's number is in denominator. Exponent twenty three will go in numerator. Its power will become in negative sign. The sign of power will be changed. So correct option is C. Acha now number four is asking which of the following represent the atomic structure of lithium. Now nice. now C. Lithium is having three electrons. Here only electronic structure is mentioned. protons neutrons are not mentioned so you have to count total number of electrons and it is represented by this c structure it is showing it is showing three electrons okay so the correct answer is 3 or c number 5 is chlorine 35 and chlorine 37 are two isotopes of chlorine because they these are two isotopes and isotopes are having same proton number but different mass number because their number of neutrons are different so a is the correct answer different number of neutrons now number 6 which of the following represent the electronic configuration of potassium potassium is having 19 electrons for 19 electrons electronic configuration will be this c 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s1 this is showing total 19 electrons Now number seven, which type of bond will form between two elements having an electronegativity difference zero? Means these two elements are having same electronegativity values. Maybe these are same elements. So in such cases, non-polar covalent bond is formed. If electronegativity difference is greater than one point seven, ionic bond is formed. Less than one point seven and greater than zero point four, polar covalent bond is formed. less than 0.4 or almost zero is non polar covalent bond now number 8 which type of bonding occurs in the product of the given reaction this is the product calcium oxide calcium is a metal 
ऑक्सीजन इज अ नॉन मेटल एंड वेन एवर मेटल कम्बाइंस विद नॉन मेटल आयनिक बॉन्ड इज फॉर्म सो करेक्ट आंसर इज आयनिक नंबर नाइन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग बॉन्ड इज इज प्रेजेंट बिटवीन कॉपर एटम्स दैट अलाउज कॉपर टू कंडक्ट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी दिस इज नॉट द रियल बॉन्ड बिकॉज इट इज प्रेजेंट बिटवीन कॉपर ओनली रियल बॉन्ड्स आर फॉर्म बिटवीन टू एलिमेंट्स सो रियल बॉन्ड्स इंक्लूड आयनिक कोवलेंट एंड कोऑर्डिनेट कोवलेंट बॉन्ड इट इज अबाउट मेटल्स मेटल्स आर हैविंग मेटेलिक बॉन्ड दिस इज द बॉन्ड और फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन प्रेजेंट बिटवीन मेटेलिक कैटाइन एंड इट्स फ्री मूवेबल इलेक्ट्रॉन सो इट अलाउज कॉपर टू कंडक्ट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी स्पेशली फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन्स अलाउ कॉपर टू कंडक्ट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज मेटेलिक बॉन्ड सी नंबर टेन हाउ मेनी वैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर देयर इन एन एलिमेंट बिलोंगिंग टू द सेवनटीन ग्रुप मीन सेवन ए ग्रुप एंड फोर्थ पीरियड ऑफ द पीरियडिक टेबल सेवन ए ग्रुप एलिमेंट्स आर हैविंग सेवन वैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन सो बी विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर नंबर इलेवन हाइड्रोजन इज प्लेस्ड इन ग्रुप वन बिकॉज इट इज सिमिलर टू अल्कली मेटल्स इन वॉट वाई हाइड्रोजन इज प्लेस्ड इन वन ए ग्रुप सिमिलर इन गेनिंग ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन नो अल्कली मेटल्स डू नॉट गेन इलेक्ट्रॉन दे लूज इलेक्ट्रॉन वैलेंशियल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन यस दिस इज द करेक्ट आंसर बिकॉज हाइड्रोजन इज ऑल्सो हैविंग वन इलेक्ट्रॉन अल्कली मेटल्स लाइक सोडियम लिथियम दे आर ऑल्सो हैविंग वन वैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन नाउ नेक्स्ट इज नंबर ट्वेल्व सोडियम कम्स आफ्टर लिथियम इन ग्रुप वन ए इन द फर्स्ट ग्रुप ऑफ द पीरियडिक टेबल इफ द आइनाइजेशन एनर्जी ऑफ लिथियम इज फाइव ट्वेंटी किलो जूल्स पर मोल देन द आइनाइजेशन एनर्जी ऑफ सोडियम विल बी नाउ लिथियम इज फ्रॉम सेकेंड पीरियड sodium is from third period and whenever we move down in a group ionization energy decreases so sodium must be having less ionization energy as compared to lithium and this value a and this value a this is showing only less value of ionization energy than 520 remaining values are higher than 520 so so e a must be the answer Number thirteen. Which of the following statements about the behavior of gases is false? They are highly compressible. This is correct. They occupy any available space. This is also correct. Their particles possess orderly arrangement. No, this one is wrong because there is no arrangement of particles in gases. So this will be the correct answer. You have to choose the false statement. Number fourteen, nitrogen and carbon monoxide have identical rate of diffusion at room temperature because they both diffusion depends on mass or molar mass only. They are having same molecular mass, nitrogen gas twenty eight, carbon monoxide also twenty eight. So are the uh, are of same molecular mass. This will be the correct answer. Number fifteen, liquids have a tendency to flow because they have definite volume. They can be compressed. these are properties of liquid but uh, they are not related to flow this property tendency to flow next is their molecules have very weak intermolecular forces next last option it is correct answer their molecules move over and around one another therefore liquids molecule flow because they can roll over each other so d is the correct answer Number sixteen, the change from its state x to y, as shown in the given figure, occurs due to the process of. Here you can see x is showing solid state and y is showing gaseous state. So it is the conversion from solid to gas, and it is known as sublimation. The process is known as sublimation, conversion of solid into gas. Number seventeen, the molarity of a given sodium hydroxide solution will be. This is the given solution. Mass of sodium hydroxide is written fifteen point eight. Volume of this solution is written. You have to find molarity. The formula of molarity when mass is given is molarity is equals to mass over molar mass multiplied by volume of solution in decimeter cube. So first you need to convert this centimeter cube uh, into decimeter cube. Five hundred centimeter cubes are equal to point five decimeter cube. and then you need to calculate molar mass of sodium hydroxide sodium hydroxide molar mass is 40 how you can calculate i'll show you 
500 decimeter cube will be divided by 1000 because decimeter cube uh, 500 centimeter cube is divided by 1000 because decimeter cube is larger unit. So, it will be 0 0.5, 0 0.5 decimeter cube. Molar mass of sodium now, sodium is sodium hydroxide, sodium is 23 plus oxygen which is 16 plus 1 hydrogen. So, it is 40. Now, mass is given, molar mass is calculated, volume has been calculated. So, mass is 15.8 divided by 40 that is molar mass divided by volume that is 0.5 decimeter cube. The correct answer is 0 0.79 or 0 0.8 m. So, A is the correct answer in this case. Next is which of the following is an example of liquid into liquid solution. So, this one is benzene and toluene, both are non-polar organic compounds. It can't be hydrogen chloride in water because nature of hydrogen chloride is gaseous. When it is dissolved in water, it converts into hydrochloric acid. Here, acid is not written, it is only written hydrogen chloride which, is, which exists in gaseous state naturally. So, this is the solution of gas into liquid. C is the correct answer now. Number 19, a student classified pure water as a weak electrolyte. Which of the following could be reason for this classification? If pure water is weak electrolyte means it is not having any hydrogen or hydroxyl ion. Let us read the options. A is it conducts electricity to a large extent. If it conducts electricity then it will be a strong electrolyte not weak electrolyte. B is it conducts improves when an acid is added. C is it readily dissociate into hydrogen and oxygen gas. No, it cannot dissociate into hydrogen and oxygen gases. It can dissociate uh, uh, into hydrogen ion and hydroxyl ion. It ionizes completely into hydronium and hydroxide ion. No, it is also wrong. If it will ionize completely, it will be a strong electrolyte. So, correct answer is this one. Their conductivity will improve in the, uh, if acid or bases are added in it because acids will convert into ions. So, due to the presence of those ions of acids also, their conductivity will improve. What is the oxidation number of Cl in NaCl O3? Oxygen is minus 2. So, 3 oxygen oxidation state is minus 6. Sodium plus 1. So, it could be plus 5. Option C is correct. Number 21, in the given reaction, hydrogen is produced by the reaction of concentrated sulfuric acid with zinc. This is the reaction. The change in oxidation state of hydrogen from plus 1 to 0 represents that. Here oxidation state of hydrogen is plus 1, here it is 0. This change in oxidation state from plus 1 to 0 is decrease in oxidation state and the process where oxidation state decreases is known as reduction. Means hydrogen is undergoing reduction and reduction is gain of electron. So, it has gained electron. B can't be uh, correct. It has lost electron. It is showing oxidation but here reduction is occurring. It has reduced zinc. No, if they are undergoing reduction, they will oxidize zinc. It is self oxidized. No, no it is self reduced. So, correct answer is A. It has gained electron. Number 22, which of the following properties characterize uh, potassium as an alkali metal? Alkali metals are highly metallic because they are highly electropositive in nature. So, A is the correct answer. Number 23, which of the following halogens react explosively with sodium to form sodium halide? In all of the halogens, fluorine is the most reactive halogen. So, it will react very quickly with sodium. Number 24, which of the following factors increase the non-metallic character of an element? Non-metals non are electronegative in nature. So, if they have high electronegativity, they have more non-metallic character. So, high electronegativity is the correct answer. Number 25, silver is an inactive metal that tarnishes in the presence of compounds containing what? Tarnishes means oxidize. So, silver can oxidize in the presence of sulfur easily. So, D is the correct answer. 
सो दैट्स ऑल फॉर 2013 थाउजेंड पेपर